Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming. In this special request RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make uh, swamp tiles that do different damage depending on what items that you're wearing and how to make immunity to those uh, damages. So this is a special request for Baby Beluga R. Baby Belugar. And she goes, well I'm going through all your tutorials right now so I haven't seen all of them, but something I was thinking about that I can't think of how I would get it done is this. Basically, an object in the environment is giving off damage ticks. The more closer you get to it, like how radiation would work in a sci-fi type game, I'm assuming something with floor damage and regions would work for that, but I also need a way to equip an accessory that negates that damage. The closest example I can think of is say a poison swamp. Uh, walking in the shallow end, you're taking one tick of damage a second, and the deeper you go, slash closer you get to the center, the damage ramps up until it's insta-killing you. But if you equip special boots or something, you don't take any damage at all. Does that make any sense? Thanks for reading all this. So, uh, Baby Beluga, this is how you do it. You are going to be using uh, Yanfly's plugin, Region Events, and to get that, you would just put it, uh, install that plugin uh, right here see the order that I have it. Also you can check Yanfly's uh, website to, to get the, the correct order for all of your plugins and I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get all the stuff you need to make this happen. So the first thing we're going to be doing is going to our common events. We'll go to our common events. We're going to create a common event for each type of uh, each different incremented damage. So we're going to be doing this uh, based on each character if they have the equipment that they need so it's a conditional statement for each uh, actor and the first thing you're going to be doing is right click insert new conditional uh, branch after you have your conditional branch open you're going to go to page two and you're going to select the first actor that's going to be in your party you'll have to do this for every possible actor uh, luckily it's a very small uh, conditional statement that you could copy paste it so we're going to select uh, armor swampers uh, or swamp stompers uh, we can go to armors and create a new accessory or feet equipment or however you want to do the type and equipment type. Uh, I've made swamp stompers and wearing these boots will prevent all damage that you would be taking from the poisonous swamp. So the first thing we're doing is we're checking to see if the actor number one has those on and if they do um, then it's going to do nothing basically. Otherwise we're going to create an, uh, an else branch. And in the else branch, we're going to create a flash screen. So the flash screen is going to be on tab two, and you're going to do flash screen right here. And we're going to do a small intensity for the first one. Flash screen uh, basically with a small intensity, and we're going to uncheck wait for completion. That way it doesn't freeze our, our movement. And we'll do 15 frames to make it really short, quarter of a second. Then we're going to issue our first amount of damage. However much you want to do is depending on how much HP the party is going to have during that time. You can also set it to a variable. For this, I've gone with 20, 50, and 100 damage for each different three different uh, varying difficult uh, varying strengths. So it's checking to see if Anubis has the Swamp Stompers on. If he does, then he's gonna, nothing's going to happen. No flash screen, no damage. Otherwise, it's going to flash the screen and it's going to do 20 damage to Anubis, and that's it. Uh, then you're going to do that for the next, you can basically copy paste this whole thing, uh, copy paste this whole thing, and then just change the actor that it's checking. So the second one would be Dantes for me, uh, and you're going to do exactly the same thing for all of that. So the only thing you're changing is the condition for the actor and the, and the actor that is changing HP. At the very bottom, you're going to do a script call because whenever you use region events or any event that's player touch, um, when you walk on it, it's not going to... Uh, you won't need to do this if you if you don't have random encounters on but if you do have random encounters on and you want to still be attacked while you're on these tiles you can just insert a script call that's on tab 3 so to go to tab 3 go to script and inside that script you're gonna put this dollar sign game capital P on player dot update capital E on counter capital C on count open uh, this is calling for, for the function just open and close and then end line and you're going to put that, make sure that's not inside of the else handler. You want that at the very bottom so it's going to happen after the damage has been issued in the flash screen if possible. After you've made the first one, you can just copy paste this entire thing. Paste it on a new one. And on the second one, all you're going to be changing is uh, the amount of HP that is being taken away. 
and the the brightness of the intensity of the flash. So you'll take this up to 136. You still have uh, the same things going on, 15 frames, uh, unchecking, wait for completion. Uh, and now instead of 20 damage, we're doing 50 damage. Uh, same thing's going to happen right here. You just update the flash and the, the damage all the way down and keep that the same. Copy paste that or just paste it again. Change this one so that you have a little bit more intensity. And you can make as many different layers of these that you want. You can have 10 different varying uh, strengths. In this case, I've just done three to show that it's possible to do multiple. And this time I've gone up to 20, uh, 221 intensity and 100 damage, allowing knockout. And the same thing we have the script call. Once we've got that, we're going to go to, uh, we're going to take note. We're going to take note of what uh, common event these are actually on. So the weak ones, uh, common event 122, the second one is 123, and the third one, uh, the highest damaging one is 124. So with that in our mind, we're going to go to our, uh, our plugin, which is uh, region events. We're going to go to whatever region we want to select. It doesn't really matter which one you pick as long as it's not already being used for something. So I've selected 100, 101, and 102. So the common events that we've put our, uh, com our damaging scripts on are uh, common event 122, 123, and 124. So whenever we draw region 100 and the player walks on it, common event 122 is going to play. And that's how this thing is read. So the next thing you need to do is go to the R uh, on the tab of your map, go to the draw layer, and draw the layers. So I've selected 100 for the weak damage. And you can see that this purple stuff is going to be the 20 damage tile. And then um, the little red tile is going to be region 101. And in the center, you have the extremely damaging one. Uh, the lava tile that's going to do 100. So this increasing strength as it gets towards the middle. So what I want to do now is uh, show it to you in game. Save our changes. Alright, so we've got our um, four party members here. And if we walk around, there's no random encounters because I didn't want to get attacked and uh, take up too much time. But... Um, we also have no music playing, so there we go. If we walk around, we're taking no damage, you can see that. But if we walk on this tile, we don't have those boots on, so we're going to take damage. So what I want to do is walk straight up to this chest. We've taken a little damage here. They've all taken 20 more. They've all taken 20 more. They've all taken 50. 50 more. They've taken 100. Wow, they're going to fall pretty fast like that. So let's get this chest. And inside this chest, we've got our gear. So we've got our feet items, the Swamp Stompers. Now that we've got the Swamp Stompers on, we take no damage. But what if we only have three pair of them? Well, the screen's still going to flash, and Anubis is still going to die because we took off his Swamp Stoppers. And the same thing will happen if we take off the boots from any of them. We're still going to get that screen flash, and you're still taking damage. I mean, he's already dead, but the screen is still going to flash. Oh no, chicken! And game over. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you did like it, uh, give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you have a special request, put it in the comments below. Thank you for asking these questions. Thank you for your special request. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being awesome. And we will see you in the next tutorial.